De regreso aquí en Auto 060, estamos llegando al segmento final del show de esta semana. Y como les decía en la presentación, esta semana tuvimos la oportunidad de tener dos eventos acá en Miami muy interesantes. Uno con la Southern Automotive Media Association, el almuerzo mensual, en el cual siempre un fabricante viene a hablar con los periodistas especializados de la Asociación de Periodistas de la Industria Automotriz aquí en el sur de la Florida. Y esta semana tuvimos la visita de los ejecutivos de la Fiat que vienen a hablar sobre el nuevo modelo, el 580L, el modelo de cuatro puertas que es el más grande y el 580 Avart convertible, dos modelos que han permitido a esta compañía crecer de una manera espectacular, muy rápido. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista con Matt Davis de Fiat. So Matt, how are you? Uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, well, thank you for visiting us here in Miami with uh, a lot of new news from uh, Fiat. No, actually, I'm very happy to be here. Anytime I can get out of the Michigan climate and get this nice warm one, I'm all for it. <laughs> so a little bit better than Detroit, huh? Exactly. Yeah, uh, that we're fine with that here. Um, we've been uh, hearing a lot of great news from Fiat uh, and back to back to back. I mean, it's it's amazing how fast the company is growing. You know, we uh, we took over the brand and, and tried to introduce um, a brand new company with a new a new dealer network into the U.S. And it took us a little time to make sure we got it right. Oh, not really a long time. <laughs> well. Well, you know, everyone wants it faster, right? Yeah. So we uh, introduced a new network, a lot of new products, and the biggest issue we had was awareness. And so what we've done a lot with uh, the advertising we've done and a lot of local events that we've done is get people into the car, experience what the Fiat brand's all about, and it's really taken off. I mean, if you look at how quickly we've gotten to over 50,000 our first full year, um, that's saying a lot, especially in the last decade. I don't think there's been a manufacturer that could do it with one car, basically, and uh, it took them several years. So. Yeah, because for example, the fastest growing companies lately have been the Koreans, Kia and Hyundai, and in, Kia was introduced 18 years ago. They're doing great, but it, as you said, I think it took you like 18 months, right? Yeah, you know, our first full year, and, I, and to be honest with you, I mean, I think the uh, part of the the uh, ability for us to relate to the customers is to offer something different in the marketplace. So you see a lot of our advertising be, you know, Italian style and design, then we have a little bit of fun with our all of our brand with Charlie Sheen or Michelle yeah. Minga, and really allow us to pull in a very wide net of people that are interested in not just having the same old Econo boxes on the road, but something unique and different that they can be proud of. Yeah, and you were mentioning about awareness and uh, how people probably remember the old Fiat when they were here. Mm -hmm. and Quality-wise, I mean, it's a completely different story. So that probably is taking a lot of uh, people into the cars again because the quality has like improved. I don't know how many percent. Times. Yeah, yeah, no, we're doing a great job with our quality. And you know what we found out from the Fiat brand from the past is that people loved it. No matter if you had a quality issue or if you had a great experience in the car, uh, everyone loved the brand. And so when we offer it back to them, they realize it's back in the United States. Um, just to see the driving dynamic that you get out of the car and the uniqueness of the The interior appointments and the value that you get with the brand. I think a lot of people were pleasantly surprised that a great Italian car company could deliver a car at the price points we are. Yeah. And um, speaking of uh, prices and different models, there's a lot that has been new this year. It's been on this year. The, so you have the original, the Avart, the Cabrio, the electric, and now the L. Did I miss anything? No, in the Avart Cabrio, too. Oh, the Avart Cabrio, you see? So, no, it's been a great, uh, the last six to eight months, we've introduced a lot of personality within the 500 brand um, that gives you a breadth of uh, opportunity to have uniqueness and uh, a whole bunch of different personalities. But now we're very excited to bring the 500 out. It's 26 inches longer, it's six inches wider, and gives you 120 cubic, inch, uh, cubic feet of interior space, which is about 40% larger than the 500. So for those people that love the brand and just want some more space that keeps the same driving characteristics and brand image, we got the car for them now. Well, that's great. Thank you uh, again. And maybe you have a 500L Cabrio so you can be more in Miami. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.